Hey Cancer, I have a message for you. <laughs> My name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey and I am here for a collective reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or really anybody that wants to connect with Cancer Energy. If these messages resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Anything that uh, you would like to do to support me is very, very much appreciated. So Cancer, we'll get right into it. Off the rip, as I'm sitting here and I'm about to turn my camera on, I hear in my head like, um, Cancer, come on down to the price is right. Which if you're from America, you know that that's like some it's like a really classic show and it's so random uh, for me to even think about that. So um, it's going to have something to do with this message that's coming through and we will see why. Off the bat, as I kind of tap into that energy, it's almost like um, you're, you're about to be lucky. Something lucky is about to come into your life. And right in, in this particular game, the price is right. Like you have to play a game, right? And it's not a guaranteed success. Just because you've got the opportunity doesn't mean that you're gonna get the prize at the end. Um, but you have a chance, right? Something is opening up for you. So let's see, what does, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but Spirit, please show me what, what does Cancer need to know? By the way, my daughter is off to the side sleeping. So if you hear any cooing or little baby noises, that's her. All right, I feel like, okay. okay. Back of the deck energy, nine of cups in reverse. Mm, okay, I know where this is going. Let's see. Uh, okay. We're not reading reversals today for some reason. I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. We're not reading those in reverse. These are in reverse. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cancer. So we have the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Strength card all in reverse. Back of the deck energy is Nine of Cups in reverse. Now, if I flipped all of these energies upright, this would be the best god dang reading ever, right? Like a new opportunity, mastering that opportunity and seizing it and attracting it towards you, having the strength to do so. And this is like a, a wish fulfillment, but it's in reverse. I feel like you guys are being offered an opportunity. So either you're already, you've already been offered this opportunity, which I feel like you have, uh, for some of you, you're going to be offered an opportunity and you're realizing that just because you were offered the opportunity does not mean that it's here, <laughs> that there, there's going to be a process. There's going to be work here with the strength card in the reading, right? Spirit is asking me now to flip it around, right? It's your choice whether or not this is going to come to fruition or not. And because it's your choice, you're thinking that this is not a great opportunity. Wait, it's not just going to fall into my lap. I, I have to work for it. Maybe there's some element of this arrival of whatever it is that you thought once I have it, that's it. But you're realizing that, okay, I have it. This is great. This is a reason to celebrate. However, this is just the beginning. I have to work, right? This, this movement from the page to the queen, right? There's work that needs to be done. There's a knight in between this. And what is the knight of pentacles? It is the slow moving court card, right? Knight of pentacles, he gets the job done. He gets what he wants, but he moves slowly. And you're realizing this, right? As I'm looking at this, this on this side, this on this side, I feel like I'm the knight of pentacles. You're realizing that I am the knight of pentacles, which means I have to move slowly. I have to dig deep for strength in order to bring this Nine of Cups into fruition. And that's kind of like knocked you off kilter a little bit. But that's okay, right? Because we have this energy up here that wanted to come out. 
Ace of Wands, which is a quicker moving energy. It's an energy of inspiration. So I feel like you're coming out of this, this period where you received something. You received something or began on a path towards something material, right? So this could be starting a business, right? You got the you got the idea, you started like invested in the business and maybe there was this thought like, okay, now, now I'm rich. And it's like, no, 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 right? You got to do the Knight of Pentacles thing. You got to like build this, right? Coming out of that kind of, I don't want to say like depression, but that's what it kind of feels like. This kind of lull period, like, oh, okay. I'm working towards my dream, but this isn't going to move as quickly as I want it to move. But once you accept that, then this spark of energy comes into you, right? Seven of Pentacles is about planting seeds and you have to wait for them to grow. You don't plant a seed and have fruit overnight. It has to grow. And once you accept that and accept that you're going to have blessings along this timeline as you wait for your final result to materialize, right? This eight of pentacles is what comes after it. That's the hard work to the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. You're in a great spot, right? The seven of pentacles, you've planted the seeds and you're starting to see, you're going to start to see growth. And once you start to see that growth, then you're going to be like, okay, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is the energy that you need to keep in order to materialize this. Nine of Wands, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is, in this particular energy, it feels like resting. It feels like resting. There is going to come a point on this journey that you're going to be in the Ten of Pentacles where you are carrying so much and not in a bad way, right? This energy feels upright. So it's like juggling a bunch of different things. So as you wait for this to bloom, as you wait for harvest to the full maturation with the Queen of Pentacles, you're being asked to rest and heal. There's something that spirit wants you to heal that doesn't have anything to do with this, but it's something that you can focus on while you're waiting. All right, I got to pull on this. I have no idea what this is, although I do feel like a lot of you just know. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do want to pull. Okay. That'll do six of swords, having to walk away from something. You you walked away from something. This is taking your focus, but you have also walked away from something. Yeah, knight of cups and ten of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. So spirit is asking you to forget about this. You planted the seeds. You just have to wait for it to grow. In the meantime, focus your energy on matters of the heart, healing from something that you had to walk away from. You had to make a decision and it's, and it's a sharp decision, right? There's an element of pain here in order to step into this Knight of Cups, right? Nine of Cups comes towards you with a love offer. So for some of you, um, because you walked away from something, you're going to have somebody moving towards you with an offer of love. So those of you that are single, Somebody is coming towards you with a real offer of love. For those of you that are in a relationship, your partner is coming towards you with a depth of love, right? So if you're married, for example, while this is working, doing what it needs to be doing, work on your marriage, work on your partnerships, work on your relationships, work on your friendships, Heal, heal from whatever it is that you had to walk away from. Because when we walk away from something, the universe responds to open space. If you have left a relationship recently or walked away from a family situation, which I think a lot of you have with this 10 of cups, heal from that. 
Do the work to heal from that because something is rushing in to take that space, right? We have the spiral here. That's an energy of healing. Ten of Cups. Creating an emotional fulfillment. Right? Because I'm getting this energy, okay, when you have that Ten of Pentacles, when whatever this material thing real, fully realizes itself or comes into your reality, are you going to have anybody to share it with? Wow. Are you going to have anybody to share it with? And you worrying about manifesting this stuff, are you going to neglect your relationships or connections? Are you not going to do the healing work so that you have these emotional wounds that will impair your ability to even share what it is that you want with others? Because that's the purpose of it. It's the Ten of Cups. Creating emotional fulfillment through material abundance so that you can share it with the people that you love. Don't forget that, Cancer. Don't forget that. That's that's why you're doing all of this. So Spirit is saying you you did what you had to do. The pleats the seeds have been planted. Don't lose sight. Yeah, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Somebody left. Okay, you had to walk away or move away from something. But something is coming in. Something. Somebody is coming in. And they're coming in pretty pretty quick. Okay, look at the way this horse is moving. It's not speeding in with the like the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Wands, but but it's moving. It'll happen quicker than you know. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Nurture your friendships too. Spend time with people that you love. Okay, that is all that I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much. If these messages uh, resonated with you, please like, share. Subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how this is relevant to your life, and until we meet again, namaste.